Okay, so now for these kind of uh, questions, as in uh, midterm 2018 question 1E, uh, we have uh, voltmeters and ammeters in the circuit, and we need to know what their properties are, like what, what do they look like in the circuit, and how do they measure. So there's two things in here. So let's just uh, review the properties of the meters, okay? So let us just do a little quick summary. So properties of meters. So an ammeter, it measures current, and we put it in series in the circuit, okay? We have to, normally when we use it, we break a branch and we measure the current that way. And um, so, so that it doesn't interfere with the measurement, it has to have zero resistance so that it looks like a wire. So it has zero resistance. It has to look like a short circuit, okay? So that is its key property, okay? And now, how does it make a measurement? So let us say we have an ammeter in a circuit. So it's like this. So this is our ammeter. And we have the plus side, which is the red lead, and the minus side here. Okay? And let us imagine we have a current flowing through it of 2 amps in this direction. So what this ammeter will do is it will measure positive 2 amps. Okay? It measures positive 2 amps. Um, if the current is going through the ammeter from the positive to the negative, then um, it makes a positive uh, current measurement. So then, imagine the other scenario where uh, you have um, the ammeter in the opposite configuration, so you have minus on the top, the ammeter, and positive on the bottom, and you have the same 2 amp current going through it, but the meter has been switched around in its orientation, and so what the ammeter is going to measure is minus 2 amps. Okay. So then, um, what about the voltmeter? So let's talk about the voltmeter. Voltmeter. Okay. Now, uh, we use the voltmeter to measure the voltage across a component. Okay. And for it not to interfere with the circuit, it has to have infinite uh, resistance so that no current flows through it. So it's its property is that it has infinite resistance. So it looks like an open circuit when it's in the circuit. Um, an ammeter looks like a closed, I mean, a, a short circuit. Okay, so the voltmeter has infinite resistance. Well, that's the ideal voltmeter and the ideal ammeter. Okay, so it has infinite resistance. That's the important thing about it. So now, how does it make a measurement? So, let's say we have our voltmeter here. We have plus and minus like this. Plus is the red lead, and minus is the black lead. And it's going to go to some component, OK? And it's gonna, let's say that there's some voltage across that component. Let's say it's 10 volts in this direction. So the voltmeter in this configuration is going to measure positive 10 volts. Okay. Now if we switch the voltmeter the other way, so minus is going to be on top, that's a black lead, positive is on the bottom, that's the red lead, and if we have our component across there, and imagine we have 10 volts the same as what we had. So then, uh, in this configuration, the voltmeter is going to measure minus 10 volts. Okay? 
So what does this mean in the circuit? Let's go back and take a look at the circuit. So since a voltmeter has infinite resistance, it's going to look like an open circuit here. Okay, so no current's going to be able to flow through this 5 volt, 5 ohm um, resistor because it's an open circuit. And the voltage at, at, at this end, at the bottom end of the resistor, is going to be the same as it is at the top end of the resistor. And that's because no current will be flowing. And so a way of looking at that, or why, why that is, is that um, uh, voltage is equal to current times resistance. So the voltage across that resistor is zero because the current zero times whatever the resistance is is still zero. So there's zero voltage across there. So whatever voltage we measure at the bottom end of this resistor will be the same as the voltage we measure at the top end of that resistor. And then for this ammeter, it appears as a short circuit. And what's going to happen is that it's effectively going to short circuit this 5 ohm resistor. So it's going to be as if this 5 ohm resistor is not there. Okay? And so when we uh, take the ammeter reading, it's going to be the current flowing through it uh, uh, as a short circuit across the circuit without that 5 ohm resistor. And we have to pay attention to the polarity of the resistor, uh, I mean of the ammeter and of the voltmeter to make sure that we get the uh, correct measurement. Okay, So let us redraw this circuit uh, to indicate um, uh, the meter application in this strange way that we have. So let's add another slide here. And so what is our circuit? So let's just redraw it. And that is going to look like this. So we're going to have our plus 15 volts. We're going to have the 5 ohm resistor. We're going to have this other 5 ohm resistor, but it's just going to be hanging there. And then uh, we're going to have the short circuit that's defined by the ammeter. Okay, so that's the circuit. And so now, given the orientation of the ammeter, uh, positive being at the bottom and negative being at the top, a positive reading would be uh, the current flowing upwards through that branch. So let's just call that current um, I ammeter. Okay, so that's the reference direction for that ammeter. And then we're going to have the vol voltage of the voltmeter over here. Okay, so now. Let's just take a look at that voltmeter measurement. Now earlier we said that the voltmeter measurement, um, uh, the voltage at the, of the resistor at the bottom end is going to be the same as at its top end. So then we can say that the voltage Vm is also across there like that. And we see that that voltage is across a short circuit. So it has to be zero. So Vm must equal zero volts. Okay? And that's one result. What about the other result? So now we need to calculate the current I am I am meter. So let us define a current flowing through this circuit. So it's just going to be a uh, current flowing through here. We know that current flows uh, from the positive of a voltage source through a resistor. So that was a f 15 volts. So let's just define that as I. Okay, And um, we know that I is going to be equal to minus I A M. So now Let's find out what I is. I, using Ohm's law, is 15 volts divided by 5 ohms, and that's equal to 3 amps. Uh, therefore, 
i a m has got to equal minus 3 amps, okay? And that is our second result. So that is how we do these kinds of uh, voltmeter and ammeter questions. They can be quite tricky.